Welcome back guys. Uh, so this is the second part of the step one and today uh, we are gonna have a look at the at the rest of the code. So let's get it started. Next thing is entry conveyor. Uh, these are the conditions when the entry conveyor should run. So that's an output. We are checking if the system is started and if there is no item at the entry. What does it mean? It means that as long as this photo cell is not activated, then the conveyor should run when it's started. Yeah, we can see now I'm holding it, so that's why we have this strange behavior. But conveyor stops immediately when the photo cell is being occupied. So it seems okay. We would not like to grab an item when the conveyor is run because then we might not be able to grab it correctly. Second condition is move on Z axis. It's a little bit more conditions in here. When let's think about it, when we would like to move on the Z axis, when we have an item here, okay, when the conveyor is not running, yes, also agree. When the system is started, yes. Let's have a look, do we have it here? Uh, we have an item on the entry, that's correct. Conveyor is not started, that's correct as well. I mean, conveyor is not running, excuse me. Uh, system is started, that's correct. Mm, and we have some more conditions here. So there's no item detected. Let's have a look at the simulation again. Item detected. Okay, so that's the sensor which tells us if we have an item on, on our gripper, let's call it. Yes, it makes sense. And there is move, no move on X axis. Seems reasonable as well, because we would not like to move on two axes uh, at the same time. Here we have reset set, okay, so that's something that we have changed on the start. The reset has a priority here. Move uh, set memory, and then we go one by one to the actuator. It will make uh, more sense later on uh, in the next uh, in the next part uh, but for now it's okay we don't have to necessarily change it uh, we are doing the reset when there is item detected so we are resetting the Z movement when we have an item here okay seems okay yeah so how to move on the Z axis, we have to set the output and as long as the output is being set, then the movement, uh, then it's actuated and we have a movement down. So as, as soon as we release it, we are gonna come back to the initial position. So that's why we have reset set here. Okay, for me those conditions uh, look okay. Here, as I said, for now, it doesn't make much sense, but we can imagine that in the future we would like to have some uh, other conditions as well, because now we are moving in a Z axis only in, in this position, but we would like to move it as well above the exit conveyor. So let's keep it as it is. Uh, and one more condition is about grab. We spoke about it at the very beginning why we don't use the start button here as well mm, apart from that what are we checking uh, if the item is detected yes makes sense if there is no item we would not like to grab anything and if there is no item at exit item at exit that's the sensor here on the exit conveyor okay so let's think about it what is it for yeah it could be used for the dropping of uh, of item on the other conveyor so let me reset the system start it again there's no item at exit that's correct i'm gonna take one here oh. 
okay i'm gonna activate uh, the sensor so now in theory we should drop the item here because we are assuming that we are in this position yeah item has dropped we have some strange behavior because that's not uh, what we expect in normal operations but it works uh, so that's that could be for dropping the the item on the other conveyor for now let's leave it as it is we are gonna assume it's okay uh, and that's uh, that's the step one uh, what we would like to achieve today what we would like to understand in the next uh, video we are gonna go for the for the rest of the move movement just to give you a sneak peek that's how the whole program looks like okay so that's what we would like to achieve in the in the next lesson if you have any questions comments please let me know i'm curious about your opinion and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>